Hi, everyone, and welcome to IDW Creator Spotlight. My name is Sam Meggs. I'm a writer and the IDW social gal du jour, and I am so thrilled to be joined today by an amazing talent, uh, one of my fellow Star Wars authors, Kevin Scott. Hi, Kevin. It's great hey, to see how you. are you doing? It's good to see I'm you, too. I'm doing so great. Thank you for joining us today. No worries. We are here to talk about your new series, the first issue is dropping December 21st. It is called mm -hmm. Dead Seas. What can you tell us about it? So Dead Seas came from my love of um, disaster movies of the 1970s. I'm terrified of water and um, sinking. Mm. So obviously I watched as many films as I could where there were boats going under the waves. But the one <laughs> thing I always thought were, you know, were, they were missing were monsters and ghosts. And so that's what this is. It's basically the Poseidon Adventure meets the Haunting of Hill House, which is a ship that's absolutely brimming with ghosts, starts to go down. And when a ship sinks, that just means more ghosts. So you were like, this thing is horrifying to me. What if I made yes. it more horrifying? <laughs> exactly. Exactly Tell that. Tell us about these very creepy ghosts. So the thing about the um, world of Dead Seas is that ghosts are, as you said, terrifying. These ghosts in particular <laughs> will drive you insane if they can manage that. They can also hurt you physically. But the ectoplasm they leave behind has been found to have certain medical um, properties that are, make it a bit of a wonder cure. And it's become more mm. popular and more valuable than gold or oil. It's giving Victorians eating mummy dust very exactly. much. Exactly, exactly yeah. <laughs> What can you tell us about our lead character, Gus? Well, Gus is one of the prisoners who's sent into the ship, the um, perdition, to scrape the ectoplasm off the walls. And he's doing it because he thinks it's going to get his, his sentence reduced. He's desperate to see his daughter. But what he doesn't realise is that people on these ships have a life expectancy of only a few weeks. And <laughs> the ocean has a, a different idea of how he's going to get off the vessel. Oh, very interesting. Love the idea of the ocean as a character itself. Ooh, delicious stuff. Mm, very good. Mm. Uh, your artist on Dead Seas, Nick Brokenshire, uh, what's it been like working with him? Oh, it's, I mean, Nick's an old mate, and we've worked together on Star cool. Wars for years, and we come from the same kind of world of reading 2000, uh, 2000 AD when we were a kid, seeing Hammer Horror films and, you know, and, and Doctor Who and things like that. So all of those influences are just part of our natural conversation. And so, yeah, when I work with Nick, I know exactly, well, I know exactly what he's going to produce, but at the same time, I never know what's going to come. So when it comes to yeah. one of our ghosts, I say, Nick, go, do your worst. And he terrifies me every time. And you have that trust that you know yeah, that it's going to be exactly better right. than what you could possibly have imagined. Which exactly. Is always the best part of working with an artist like that. That's hmm. amazing. Is there anything else that you want to tell fans about Dead Seas? Well, it has a, an amazing cast uh, of both prisoners and convicts um, and guards and some other people that make it onto the ship when they're not supposed to be there. And in fact, things that aren't supposed to be there, there's a, a hidden cell in the middle of the ship and no one knows what's in there or who's in there and uh, that is pr like prime doctor who exactly. i love that exactly. Ooh, kevin this sounds so good i can't wait to read it uh remember to let your local comic book store know everyone watching that you really want to order a copy of dead seas issue number one you have until monday november 7th to put right. that order in at your lcbs so don't forget to do it. And that way there will be a copy of Dead Seas number one waiting for you on December 21st when it hits stores. Kevin, thank you so much for being here with us today for IDW Creator Spotlight. What a blast. Thanks for having me. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.